So to do a dispense, I'm going to leave my program center, and you'll notice that the power is off. I'm going to go ahead and initiate power. The system's going to start up and go into standby. I have selected recipe zero right now, so I'm going to go in, select recipe one, and then once I've done that, I can start it from, from my ADM, and it will run through each dispense. In this case, it's going to go through the first dispense, and then it'll go through the second dispense, and then it's going to go into that 15-second pause that we saw programmed. Once it times down, it's automatically going to initiate the third material dispense. And then as long as the targets have been met within its tolerance, the dispense is done. Now I can also initiate using any one of these start-stop switches. So I can initiate from the ADM or from the start-stop as long as the start-stop is on a fluid panel that's within the recipe and not a station. Okay, one more thing, uh, I want to show the remote start stop, and this is the wireless used in hazardous locations. Again, I can simply initiate the start of that same recipe from the wireless option. Okay, so I've made a couple changes in the system and I want to review them with you. And the changes I made was in within, within the recipe as well as within the three stations. So the first thing um, I'm going to do is go into the config files. I'm going to move over to the recipe and you'll see in recipe one, I now only have two dispenses. I'm going to use fluid panel one and two. If I go over to my fluid panels and I go up to fluid panel three, You'll notice I changed it to a station mode. And what it did is it brought in some new fields here. And the new fields are telling it it has a stop uh, start button. I have a target dispense of 50 cc's. And again, the timeout and a top off screen. The timeout is, again, looking for meter pulses within the five seconds. It also has a top off. And the top off is used for two seconds if it missed its dispense target it can top the system off to try and hit that target. All right, so what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow me to run these two fluid panels within a recipe, but now I can operate this panel independently. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my home screen. I'm going to activate recipe one, and I'm gonna start recipe one, and it's gonna go ahead and start the dispense for the two fluid panels. But now on this one, because it's not in the recipe anymore, I can go ahead and run that independently and it's doing its own dispense in the background. Even when the recipe's done, I can manually start a dispense and it's doing it all in manual and that's all because we set it up to be a station mode as opposed to the recipe mode. So this just gives you some flexibility in the way that we set up and program the pro dispense. Okay, so that was a quick review of the components, all the available features or accessories, and also a walkthrough of how to set it up and run the system.